All right, we're back with 48 and 24. We've got in the studio, Mr. Walter Pulowski. I'm live! Walter, so people have probably haven't seen you or met you. Some of them have. Who are you, what do you do, and how long have you been at TechSmith? I'm a customer solutions engineer here at TechSmith. I've been here for going on eight years, seven or eight years now. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It doesn't feel like a long time. I'm sure for my coworkers, it feels way Forever. too long. It feels, yeah. When are you ever going to leave? Far exceeded expectations, quite <laughs> honestly. Um, but no, I, uh, my job is to help out customers to, I'm a, a tech guy. Uh, I used to be a developer. I don't, I don't do as much development anymore, but uh, I work primarily on our TechSmith Relay product and I try to help customers. I'm still nerdy. I still write some scripts and macros and stuff like that. And so uh, I think half my job's helping out uh, customers and then the other half's helping out fellow coworkers. So I, I write reports and things like that internally. And Walter, you're known, known throughout the company for your amazing emails that usually have about 30 links, <laughs> images, all these things happen in them. I try to make them. In a while. I try to make them engaging. Yeah, yeah I, I figure in order to get read, you got to make a nice, engaging email message. And you're a passionate um, emailer. Yeah. In terms of keeping your email, you have specific rules about email. We, yes. That's a whole yes. Interview. Yeah, I don't just send email out willy nilly. I think that email is used for, like for communication that it was never intended to be used for. It. In fact, tonight, honestly. Uh, I went through, since my honeymoon, I uh, got married in, in December. I have Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. She's a total blessing. She's sitting right over there, that lovely lady. Um, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't caught up on email since December. We, we had a new product release, in my defense. We had a new product release. There were all kinds of messages, and it was, you know, everybody was out for, so I basically was off most of the month of December, you know, honeymoon and then um, uh, the holidays and stuff. And so uh, I got through 600 messages today, which before I got here, and most of it was just triaging it, putting it into my to-do list and things like that. My, now my task list went up by like 50 items, but my email got down to zero, so that was good. Fantastic. So you're here to talk about how you can use Snagit to make better emails, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And how, how to save yourself time. For okay. me, that, that's a big uh, passion of mine is, is how, you, how you automate certain tasks, how you save yourself time, how you can get more done in, in less. And um, there are some good features. This, this uh, tutorial is more really about some features in Outlook and in Gmail, but I want to show you how you can make Snagit and all the image capture and, and video capture and Snagit that much more um, useful and applicable with these features. Cool. Let's, so, well, let's dig in and see what right. we got. So the idea here from, from users, from, from friends, from family members, um, asking, you, asking you things via email, and you want to give them a good response. My, my goal is to give somebody a really good, accurate response um, and do it in the least time possible. <laughs> quite, right. Quite well, honestly. You're busy. I mean, yeah, you, exactly. You've got 600 emails to go through. Yeah. And it takes you five minutes to do each one. You're never going to get done. Yeah, absolutely. And and I don't want to just give a super terse response every time because I don't think yes. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> no. Or or just like uh, like on blog posts and stuff, you'll just see a hyperlink. Like you know, somebody will ask it because they often ask me technical questions, and then like on a blog response, you would just see hyperlink, which is is, is kind of rude. I mean, it's helpful. I'm sure that people think they're being helpful, but it's kind of like saying, Google it, stupid. But you couldn't Google this? Come on, it's no problem, hyperlink. Let me Google that for you. <laughs> exactly. So I try to put some context around that hyperlink to kind of lead them in the right direction. This is how you apply it. Here's some other resources and things like that. Very cool. So here's an example of something that you might get all the time. Somebody might ask you, okay, uh, where do you... Um, how do I get to your office or how do I get to your home or Absolutely. something like that? So um, specifically, this, these instructions are for things that you're going to do again and again. Okay, I wouldn't recommend this for every email message that you send, but for things that you're going to do again and again. Repeatable common tasks. Absolutely. So what I, I might say here is, uh, here is how you can get to the TechSmith corporate offices. We get to watch him type. There we go. Isn't that right. awesome? Isn't that awesome? And then let's just go to this is the this is the snag it portion of the of the demo. All right. So here's the just G, our uh, Google Maps. 
So we're going to look up TechSmith. I'm going to take a nice quick screenshot here, go into the Earth view so they can quickly see the overhead view. And maybe we'll zoom it out just a little bit so they can see the right context. And then my print screen button on this keyboard <laughs> is where? All right. I use full keyboards. I don't use these, these crazy laptop keyboards. Well, we can talk about keyboards after the recording. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, so you take your screenshot, right? And then, of course, I like to, uh, you know, tidy it up a bit. I might add some a blur effect around the edge, or um, specifically, you know, uh, maybe uh, call attention to exactly where um, the office is. So something like this. I'm this is actually where we are. Yep. Look at it, Google Maps. Building twenty three sixty five. Okay. Now. Once again, this has taken me a little bit of time, right? So yep. I'm not going to want to do this every time. So I'm just going to click share, share to clipboard, go back to my email message, boom, control V, there we go, okay? So I've got it, maybe I'll shrink it down just a little bit, but that's helpful. And then what I also do is, hey, you know what? Here's the hyperlink right to Google Maps. So I'll bring that back up. And, and they want to plug it into their phone or something? Yep. So right in here. Got to know your hotkeys, control K, boom, add the address, there you go. And then do something else like, uh, and here is how you get to my office. And I actually have something, if you don't already do this, by the way, this is something you totally got to do. Uh, in the library here, make sure you tag things. Tag, tag an image as much as you can. We've, tag. Heard, we've heard some great stuff throughout the day about this, but why it's really helpful. Uh, tagging is is absolutely crucial. So so right now I've got one here tagged maps or map, and hopefully it's on my local machine. There we go. Um, so I'll just do that and I'll say to clipboard, and this is a graphic that I had made previously a while back, and this actually shows how you get to my specific office. Okay, now I'm not going to do that every time. Right. That, that just so took that way took too like five minutes to do yeah, that. Absolutely. So what instead you can do is just highlight all that. We'll highlight the whole piece here and then do this. Click, this is in Outlook by the way, and I'll show you the same thing in Gmail here in just a second. But it's called a quick part. And so you do insert quick part. You do save selection to quick part gallery. You'll notice I already have some up there, right? And then we'll call this uh, uh, directions, okay? And you can put it in different categories if you want. So now the next time I have an email message that somebody's asking me that question, okay, I, I think this is a pretty good response. I'm kind of happy with it. So I'm going to open up the new one. Just do new email. And then what do I call it? Directions? Yep. Oh, come on. Don't make an idiot out of me, Outlook. Gosh. Let's see. Why didn't that work? Insert. And let's see if I already had one for directions. Oh, I inserted another one. Pull up. Control Z. <laughs> you can see I have some other quick parts. How Amazon works. Let's try this. Quick parts. But the idea if you do that, you can. You should just be able to type in the subject. And if I put it in the right spot here, here we go. Directions. Should have just automatically done it. But right here, and then it shows you, it, it pastes in that message for you. So basically, try it one more time. Directions. I might have to, hmm, I might actually have to send that message or, or close down Outlook for it to register. I don't think so. But, I'm, but, but basically, you, you can yeah. select it from this list. And so what I do a lot of times is the ones that I already have, like a server setup, here's a really nice message that I send to Camtasia Relay customers. And look, it's got all these instructions in it. I even have the subject up top, so I just drag that right into the subject line, and I save myself a ton of time. Wow. So you make a really nice message once, and then you just start typing the description of it, hit enter, and then it pastes it right in. Cool. And so we're, we are getting short on recording okay. time, but you uh, mentioned Gmail. So yeah. Maybe, so you, this is not an Outlook-specific thing. Nope. But maybe a little difference between, like, I know the Mac side is a little bit different. Sure. So in Gmail, uh, the way it works is... It's, it's very similar. It's not as user-friendly, I think, as, uh, as Outlook is. But if I create a new message in Gmail, 
you first have to uh, enable something in the, um, uh, I don't know if you've ever gone in the labs, yep. Gmail labs. So there's something in Gmail labs that you've got to enable called um, uh, canned responses. So go down here, enable canned responses. And then I'm going to show somebody how they actually enable this in, in, uh, in Gmail. So here's my message in Gmail. Once they've enabled that, there's this option here, canned responses. So you highlight something, you create your message, you highlight it, and then you just, um, you, you save it. There's the save option. And here you go. Here's, here's one that I had already created. And it's got screenshots right from Snagit. Now, the key here that's kind of annoying is uh, just a caveat here. You actually, you can't just save it to the clipboard and then paste it in. Okay. You got to, because it's web-based, you got to save it to your local machine, save the image, and then do insert image, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But it's web-based, so you're not going to get around that. So anyway, that's, if you don't do it, if you don't save it to your um, machine first, uh, what will happen is you'll do this, you'll save it, and then you'll get these broken image links. Okay. So just make sure you do it that way. But it saves yourself a lot of time. You come up with really nice templated responses. So when, when customer emails me and asks me a question, sometimes, you know, I'll have like a, a lot of screenshots in there, links, and they'll say, wow, that was great, a wonderful response. You didn't have to take that much time. And I, I want to say, I didn't take that much time at all. I took that much time two years ago. <laughs> but that's... Up, upfront investment to save yep. yourself in the, in the end. So yep. That's awesome. Thanks, Walter. Absolutely. Uh, real quick before we, we wrap up. Uh, so you obviously are a power user of a lot of tools. Um, so think of Snagit, besides the fact that you just, what you just showed us, any favorite tool or feature of Snagit that is like the killer thing for you? Uh, in addition to the cataloging of all the my screen captures, that's huge. So putting in, you know, tagging things, knowing what application they came from, that's huge. So, you know, when you once again, if you go in your library, I don't know how many people talked about this, but you go in your library, you can see exactly what websites they came from, what applications they came from. So it helps me find stuff really quickly. Um, the other thing that's just amazing that um, not a, I, I don't think a ton of people use, but is the ability to do custom profiles. And I could yes. go on and on about custom profiles down here, but like just this is a new machine, so this is <laughs> very much pared down to what I from what I had. But like I created the all-in-one multi-select the other day because I was doing menus and stuff. This is super, super powerful. You can make like it's basically like a macro within Snagit, and you can do lots of captures at once. You can not have it just dump it right to the clipboard or do whatever you, you need it to do. Dump it into another program. You can save yourself countless hours if you learn how to do uh, profiles. And they're not hard to do. No, they're not. Just nope. gotta know what you want. Yep. So. Just awesome. Fiddle around. That's how I learn everything in, in computers. You fiddle around and then you ask questions for people that you know are subject matter experts in that area. So, Walter, sit tight. We're gonna continue our conversation, but we're gonna end the recording now. Thanks again to Walter Pulaski for coming in and showing us tips on how to use Snagit. Get images in your email to make that easy to reuse those over and over again. And we're continuing on with 48 and 24. And feel free to email me at w.pulowski at techsmith.com. And I will send you instructions on how to do that because I've already made them quick parts. I'm not going to type them out each time. W. Pulowski. Good yeah. luck. There you go. Look him up. <laughs> <laughs> he's also, I think he's on Twitter. You can probably find him there. Yeah, don't, don't tweet me. I don't, I don't respond to Twitter. <laughs> I don't like Twitter. Twitter's, no. You're on there, though. <laughs> I'm there, but I'm not going to respond. Send so. him an email. He'll send you a canned response. There so you go. We'll be back in just a second to continue the conversation with Walter Pulowski.